so we got Valentino in the building. What are you saying, fam? You good? That about man, I'm here. You know, had to come show some love for the city. Six sessions, night in the six. Had to pull up, my, show my greeting, my love. Okay, okay. From the beginning, like the younger days and stuff. Right. Like when did you first, first start out rapping, like in the beginning? Sure, probably like elementary school times, you know? Okay, okay. Like this freestyling and shit. I didn't even really start myself, you know, it was more the homies. We're more roasting each other type of thing, you know, like talking Gosh. shit. So I heard something like I didn't like about myself, you know, like yeah. somebody said some shit about me, so I had to come back at them, you know. They didn't realize how hard, like how sick with it, so Bad. So it started yeah. kind of like a, on a joking type of vibe. It Basically, wasn't really... you know, elementary school with friends okay. and shit. Like, well, Relax. I yeah. hear that. All right, so uh, where, did, where in the city did you grow up? So I grew up like around Martin Grove and Eglinton. You know, sure. people would like to say Martin Grove alone, Rexdale, whatever the case is. It's not even really Rexdale until you get more further into like I'll be inside and shit, you know, so really just a Martin Grove and the West Way, but it's an intersection of Martin Grove and Eglinton, as you know. Okay, okay. How do you feel about the music scene that's going on right now, coming out of Rexdale or wherever you're? We getting back on top, man. We, 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 we doing a lot more. It's like, and I don't even mean to say we, because like, I'm just getting started myself, you know, I see the scene, like how you're saying, mm -hmm. and they're really, they're really popping. I'm really proud to see what's going on. You know, just coming up from the new rappers too, the little young boys and shit that are coming up from the ranks that I don't even know about. Facts, so facts. it's like, shit, do your thing, you know, make it any way you can. This Toronto's getting more muckier and muckier every single day, so. 100. Staying alive is a goal, right? Facts, facts. How did you get the name Valentino? Like, how did you come up with that name? Shit. Um, so my, my last rapper name was uh, Junior, right? Like okay. Junior, J-U-N-I-O-R. Well, I spelled it J-U-N-E-Y-A. Different way that people used to call me and shit, right? So, mm -hmm. I had that at first for my middle name, right? That's my original middle name, but then I switched it to Valentino because, you know, I was doing a lot of stupid shit. I guess trapping, jogging, whatever the fuck these people want to say and call it, right? Mm -hmm. So, I had a name, Valentine, that I just used to give people that I didn't want to know my name. You yeah, know, yeah, alias, right. nickname type of thing. Right. So, yeah, just fucking after that. I realized, I was like, yo, I need a different name than uh, Junior, you know? So I'm mm. like, fuck. That's when I ended up going to school for the music thing or whatever. And okay. I came up with Valentino because those people, the music people wanted to know, yo, what's, what, what's, who are you, you know? Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. like, yo, fuck, it's new, fresh, start. Let me just call myself Valentino, so switch it up. Okay, okay. So, um, growing up and stuff, who was the, you're like your favorite artist that you kind of came up listening to and stuff? Like, all around or are you asking Toronto wise? Overall, it could be Overall, anybody, yeah. so everybody knows me, Jada Kiss, Locks, you know, Styles P would have to be the top of it, but then I have my top three, right? So be Jada, Fab and Jewels. I mean those are my top three just lyrically. If I could really say who's the top three in even the world right now with lyrics, it's like there's a lot more other people but they're not commercial and up there like these three guys, you know? Mm -hmm to make it to that top level. So that's why I came up off of really. Okay, okay. So you, you named those artists. Are, are those the artists that you would collab with if you had the choice? Hell like? fuck you, yeah. Yeah, I mean, Jada most definitely, dog. I'm waiting for that one right now. He all like, okay. you know, I hit him up. He gave me a little price and shit, whatever, but yeah. then I th I'm thinking about it, dog. It's like you said, like, Right now, is th are those the artists that you would? Cause exactly. I'm looking at prices and shit. And Cause those are your favorite artists, but it doesn't mean that might not be the st strategic ones to. Exactly, cause yo, yeah. a, 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 a fucking feature from Jada could be like fifty bands. Exactly. You go to little baby, that nigga charging you like hundred and twenty bands. Exactly. <laughs> like yo, what the fuck is going on? So whoever's popping right now, they're obviously gonna charge a bigger bag, you know. So mm -hmm. and if you have the bag, you might as well go do that get it flip it make your music get out there and see what happens though these guys are out there to help you right 100 so um right now like in the music scene uh especially with social media like it's almost as if the image is more important than the music the way people take it in do you feel like right now the image is actually really important or do you feel like the music will end up speaking for itself 
in Toronto, nah, the image is way more important. Even just coming up like as a kid and shit, like I don't know if you guys know, but back then it was like more like popping, locking, healing, totals, the dance hall jams and shit, yeah, the bass yeah, yeah, yeah. like that. Like oh. and it transitioned, you know, like you see a bunch of sports niggas rapping now. You see mm -hmm. fucking bomb ass niggas rapping now. You see everybody rapping now. Kind of like the the whole game changed, dog. Like, everybody wants to get into this shit, dog. Like, you know. Facts, facts. Yeah, my G. Facts. So um. All right, so right now, like, if you had the choice um, for signing to a major label or staying independent, what would you choose? I'd stay independent, but I'm also looking for a, a signing. I won't lie. Like, fuck, who doesn't want that? You know? Facts, facts. I mean, my whole life, like, even when I told you when I started, like, that's all I was looking for. Mm -hmm. Somebody to sign me. Like, yo, just give me a bag and let me go fucking make my music. Then I thought about it again, like, he was telling me about my, sh my past, my street shit and everything like that. It's like, I never thought, like, okay, I had niggas beside me, I had people beside me, family beside me that's giving me the bag, and it's like, yo, go do your thing, but mm -hmm. you realize that you're either smoking off your fucking profit or you're buying clothes and shoes or spending it on yelling, you're done. Right, <laughs> you got right. no studio money, you don't got no video money, nothing like that, and you're trying to... Yeah, finesse and koala. <laughs> That's mm. crazy, dog. Yeah, I hear that stuff. Mm -hmm. So, um, all right. So right now, like, how do you feel COVID is affecting young artists trying to start out? You know, cause yeah, it, it is kind of difficult right now because of COVID and stuff. So, how do you feel about that? To me personally, it ain't so difficult unless like you know how to finesse the game and do what you gotta do, but. Mm -hmm. It does affect a lot of people because you might... Okay, me, I don't have a trauma to that shit, you know? Mm. Like, sometimes I'll get sick, like, have a cough or I'll get an allergy or some shit like that, whatever, before COVID and shit, you know? Mm. And it's like, I'm good after, like, a week or two, you know what I mean? Yeah. So this COVID shit, it's like, it doesn't really scare me because like, I ain't feel sick. I ain't around people who are sick or nothing like that. I'm keeping myself healthy. I'm sanitizing. You know what I mean? At least following the basic rules, you know? 100%. But I'll go on the road, put on a mask and whatnot and shit, but it don't scare me, I guess. Like, I was scares other people, you know? Yeah, I hear that stuff. Mm -hmm. So, um, alright, so do you feel like bigger artists need to collab more with the smaller artists? Like, for example, Drake, Tory Lanez, The Weeknd. Do you feel like they're kind of doing no. their job right now or do, you, do they need to put on more for the young nah, artists? The thing is, like, we need to put on more as ourselves as, as independent artists, you know? Like, mm -hmm. these big artists are already doing their thing to the point, like, I'll be taking this shit, like, Smiley, right? He has, like, a fucking picture with Drake just recently that he dropped and shit. Yeah. And it's like, who knows what they're doing? An album, maybe he's, he has a on a collab or something. Maybe he's getting signed to OVO for real. Right, and right. doing some bigger things, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like, I just look at that, like, I, I, I don't really, you know? These these big labels don't really care about you, yo. They want to see what the fuck you're doing out here. Do you even have a buzz, a name, whatever? Are you making noise in your city? Unfortunately, it's this political drill music right now that's, like, taking over the city and shit. And you can't help it. Fuck, it bumps. But at the same time, people take it for a joke. And they say, okay, all right, take it for a joke. We'll see, you know, what happens. Mm -hmm. And then you see what happens, and then it's, like, the result, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. People are either happy or mad or sad about it. Facts, facts. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah, fuck yeah. these labels, you know. I, I'd, I'd say fuck these labels straight until you're ready to come holler at me because I've been trying to holler at these labels. I brought money to studio labels and, you know, you know, did demos and tried to mm. do show them and say nothing happened. And I guess maybe I did something wrong. Mm. Who knows, you know? Yeah, I hear that stuff. So, um, in your opinion, what do you think is like the realest bar that you ever wrote? If you have to choose one bar, or it could be like the realest song, the one that resonates with you the most that you that you wrote. Not even I have a bar, but I don't remember right now. But I do have a favorite song that like just resonates with me. You know? Okay. It's like a, it's a Static Selector song in Styles P. No, no, I mean like a song oh. of yours. Of mine. Well, we can get that. That I'll ask you that okay, after okay, too. Okay, that's okay, a that's yeah, a good question yeah, too. Yeah, so a song of mine. Okay. Mm. I died and I and I'm still alive. Like why the fuck am I still here? On some shit like that, you know. Mm -hmm. Like I put it in a way where it's like fuck, dog. That's how you feel, like for real, yeah, dog. Like, like you know, 
pain, like, like you're ta real talking pain. about shit that you went through and stuff, yeah? Yeah, but something okay, that yeah. nobody else can really say unless you actually been through that, you know? Because, mm -hmm. like, pain is pain. Everybody has pain, but, like, how nice. deep yours goes, you, you, you get to show people and they actually get to feel it once they see it and that there's the judge right there. Mm -hmm. See how deep your pain goes for real. 100. Uh, so going back to what you were saying, uh, what is a uh, a song that resonates with you, and it could be any song, not something that you wrote, could be any. So, yeah. So um, like I was saying, um, uh, Static Selector and Styles P, uh, the thrill is gone. Okay. Right? What about what about that song? So Biggie's in the sample of that song, right? Okay. So you know when they do the little scratches and shit, like how DJ Premier used to do yeah, and all yeah, of that yeah. shit. So. You know, they have like little things like that in it, whatever. But he's saying the thrill is gone, this rap shit is like whatever, whatever. There's one bar that styles P said in it. But they get your sing on, get your bling on, anything. You know, like real shit. Yeah, it's yeah, like. It's just spinning real and, shit. Real and bar. he's saying that shit. He's telling you, get your sing on, get your bling on. You mm -hmm. know, it's like. So, like you were saying, like, yo, what do you think about the scene right now? Mm. Yo, you got the image is a big image. thing, dog. Facts. So, even he was talking about that, like, from time. Like, this track was like 14 years, years ago, ago, my G. So, it's Facts. like over a decade and plus, you know? Facts. So, he kind of saw it coming even before. They've been came. seeing it coming. That's why they're doing their thing and they're watching the young boys and shit. You see, mm -hmm. little niggas like J.I. Stun again, being out in the States right now. Yeah. The only you that I can see right now that's really popping in the city is Doobie. Just Sorry, facts. but fuck, like, you know? Mulan, those guys over there, they're my age and shit, you know? So it's like, mm. if we're gonna step up and do things, we gotta, and they're doing it, you know? Not to mm. take anything away, but <sighs> si the city's mud. Like, people people expect more, but look where we're at. We don't help each other. Facts, yeah. facts. So, um, do you have any mixtapes uh, mix coming out or any uh, albums or anything you wanna shout out? You know what, actually? Uh, I have a new video dropping actually. Okay. My new trap man like me. That's out on Spotify, it's out on iTunes, iHeartRadio, all, all major platforms and everything. And I just did a video with Macadelic. You know what I mean? Okay. So he just sauced it up for me. He said he's gonna send me the video today, which I didn't even check in my email yet, so that's gonna okay. drop hopefully like in the next week or whatever. I'm dropping that on six boys. Alright. Yeah. So, do you have any shout out to like, any of your homies that are rapping that you want to shout out? Or? I mean, I have so many homies I can shout out. I want to shout out the whole Rex right now, you know? Like, basically, because okay. like, I just love what, what's going on right now with the Rex. Like, mm -hmm. I can't. I can't hate where I'm from because like I've had my own issues and shit just coming up with my music, you know? Niggas mm -hmm. didn't like my shit even from my own ends and things. So, it's like, mm -hmm. where's the support at, you know what I mean? But. Right. Now it's like getting there to the point like people start fucking with you and yo you're doing your thing and mm -hmm. so a bunch of shout outs here for sure to all the man them everybody that's doing the music everybody that's doing studio time you're in there killing it you know blood sweat and tears on your pen and pad and just going hard you know like people don't know like what you have to write about when you have to go home or you just maybe like just somewhere with the man you're just taking your time to write some bars and shit people aren't like yo dog like they don't know why i just came up with this shit i need to go put this in the studio right now and let let this out so you know i know how it is still okay, okay. shout out everybody right now all the man i'm locked up too yo shout out broski <laughs> don't know he's just on facetime right. okay so that was valentino night in the six oh